is going on? Howdy, folks. Uh, welcome to another edition here on Tom Brand One Thoughts. <coughs> welcome to another edition of Evening. And uh, I hope everything is going well. Hope everything is uh, going swimmingly for you guys. Thank you for checking out this uh, channel. Uh, this big video cast podcast. Um, you know, what we do here is uh, talk about many things. <coughs> um, you know, current events. Uh, what's going on in pop culture, TV. You know, just in general. Uh, in life. And, uh, you know, just wanted to come on here for, uh, with you guys for a couple of minutes. A little bit, uh, just, uh, and just shoot the breeze. So, uh, I have two other channels. <coughs> uh, if you like sports, it's from the Bleacher Sports Show. And if you like, uh, comedy, I have the Tom Brand one, which I think it's funny, I promise you, it's not that bad, it's pretty funny, and, uh, you know, this is done, uh, this is nothing professional, this is just done for my car, my commute, just to, uh, pass the time here with you guys, so, you know, um, a couple of stories from, um, from last week. Story out of where do we go with this? Um, story out of uh, Kansas. I believe it's Kansas. And, you know, and, and uh, Christmas time is upon us. In Kansas, uh, in, in, you know, uh, in, in that part of the um, Midwest, uh, a very, um, you know, very religious state. So you could see where this uh, story is going. Uh, being that it is Christmas time, a young couple, <coughs> over the past couple of years, have been drawing attention to themselves by the neighborhood, and it's gone viral, uh, because uh, the neighborhood is saying that their light display on their house, and yeah, they have many lights on the outside of the house. Somehow, whatever shape that they were trying to do, um, first thing that maybe comes to mind is maybe like a guitar, I don't know. I don't know why automatically people say, think, oh, it's, it's a penis, because that's what... <coughs> A lot of people think of this couple's uh, light display that they have. Uh, they say that it re resembles a penis, and they are very much offended by it. Uh, and it's a sight for uh, sore eyes, and they do not want to be privy to it. It's lit up. You know, the first thing I would say is if your penis is uh, lit in, uh, is lit up uh, for more than first uh, more than four hours, well, then that's something that you need to go to the ER and seek professional help with. <coughs> um, listen. Penis, uh, be, pe penis being lit up I mean, I don't see a litten up penis as that being anything Christmassy. Unless the, the that litten up penis um, gives off uh, lights <laughs> that are green and red, then it's a Christmassy penis. <coughs> or maybe the um, you know maybe the homeowner. You know, what, what they're, they're trying to send the message that they want. You know, all I want for Christmas is penis. 
So that could be done by the lights. Uh, you never know. Right? And who are we to judge? Um, rumor is, is that the neighbors were uh, trying to measure... Trying to measure um, the lights or the, the Christmas penis for um, for how many inches it was. <coughs> Some um, wanted to uh, take the penis uh, with them, uh, the lights rather, in their house. That way, want to want to take it in deep. They wanted to take the uh, the lights from the house deep <coughs> into their yard. That, that way, of course, they, they won't see it. You know, they wanted to take the penis deep. Uh, that that is, they wanted to take the lights off and throw them deep uh, in the, in their woods in the back of their yard. But you can't do that, obviously. So, but rumor is that's what they. Uh, That's what they wanted to do. Now, I think if uh, I think if the story, if I remember the story correctly, uh, the lit, lit penis was roughly um, a couple of uh, feet, uh, probably a little just under ten feet. I wonder how many feet is a unlit penis is it the same feet when it's not um, <coughs> lit and standing at attention I mean and lit I mean uh, and not saying attention but grabbing everyone's attention <laughs> ah, penis jokes never get old no matter how old <laughs> one is right Another story um, coming out of Popeyes, <coughs> and um, a Popeyes uh, and a work of art uh, resembling up there with uh, the story about a banana. <coughs> now. Yeah, the story of a banana being duct taped to a wall and being sold as art. True story. I believe that was last week. That I forgot to cover on last week's video uh, cast. But now, <coughs> one better. Yes, for $129,000. The Popeye sandwich, <coughs> which they argue is a work of art, could now be brought. You could, in fact, have this work of art, a Popeye sandwich, for 129000 This is a true story, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, the sandwich... <coughs> it's on a bun. I want to say potato bun. But that might not be doing it justice. It's not a regular bun. And it would, I guess maybe it would be important to the story if I knew what type of bun it was. But I know it has two pickles. That slab of chicken. And some form of mayo. And it's duct tape on a wall. So the sandwich is already made, folks. Couple of things. Couple of things here. <coughs> Couple of things. First of all, <clears throat> I might challenge. I might challenge. Saying that Popeye's sandwich is a work of art. Now, let me rephrase this. 
Maybe it is a work of art. Popeyes is the best. Maybe it's the best chicken sandwich. But as far as the best sandwich, fast food wise, that is a work of art. And trust me, I know. Because I did work in fast food as a kid growing up. The sandwich that really required art skill was the McDonald's big and tasty sandwich. Big and tasty. I believe, if memory serves me correct, that was extra value meal number two. Uh, No, number two was the two cheeseburgers. I'm sorry. I was extra value meal number six. But then McDonald's changed all the uh, value meals around. Remember, Big and Tasty was around (coughs) during the days of Supersize. During the days of Supersize. Oh my goodness, how I missed uh, Supersize fries, folks. I miss those days. I truly do. Fries! If you listen to uh, last week's video cast, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that there is no potato famine. Because um, French fries, my friends, are truly what up with teeth. Now, and I'm going to challenge. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the taste of the Popeye's chicken. <coughs> But how can it be a work of art where all that you're doing in assembling this sandwich is two pickles, a bun, one slab of chicken, and mayo? How is this a work of art? Now, if you're saying it's a work of art because of the taste, well, then maybe. But putting the sandwich together My friends, it's easy. (coughs) That's elementary. Putting together the big and tasty sandwich was the hardest sandwich to put together. That, if you were able to put together a big and tasty sandwich, then you had skills as a food prepper. Big and tasty. Um, had the special type of uh, meat. I believe they quartered, called it half quarters. Quarters meaning for quarter pounders, double quarters. And then the, the half quarter in, in between of the regular, um, the regular um, hamburger meat and a quarter pound meat. That's the meat I believe that they used. Um, it came with mayo, <coughs> tomato, two pieces of lettuce, and sometimes what I used to do, especially if someone said with pickle. I would put in more than one pickle. Because that one pickle was just a standard McDonald's. Extra pickle was two. Two pickles. You know what I did, folks. Being a pickle lover, I gave this person on their sandwich, their big and tasty sandwich, four or five pickles. Because fellow pickle lovers... 
That, my friends, a big and tasty sandwich. You have to make sure that you squirted just enough mayo that it wasn't too much. Just enough lettuce. <coughs> just the right size. And that quarter, half quarter meat that you put on that special bun was just fitting, just right. And then you wrapped it. And make sure that the sandwich was not falling apart. That, my friends. And the seasoning was just right on that meat. That, my friends. If you're able to fold it. Present it well in their wrap. That is a work of art. And that should be on display. That should sell. For 130000 That sandwich had... So many things behind it to be put together. And that was a sandwich that would just always get messy. Not me, though. Not when I prepped the sandwiches back in 99, 20 years ago, as I was 17, 18 years old. When I had left, a little bit of the big and tasty had died. Now the big and tasty meal, um, the not they they kind of rejuvenated. It was I'm talking about the original one in the nineties, not the one that was out most recently. The one that was out most recently was revised. They brought it back, but it was revised. A different variation. They changed it up a bit. <coughs> Google it. And, and you will see it. The big and tasty. Uh, meal. That was actually replaced uh, on the menu uh, by... Big and Tasty was replaced by the wrap. Um, the giant wrap. Not the snack wraps <coughs> that I'm a fan of now. The giant wrap. They called it a wrap. The, the Big and Tasty was replaced by the wrap. And the wrap is also not around now either. But look it up. Big and tasty. I'll probably even put it uh, on the thumbnail uh, of this uh, vidcast. Do you want to tell you um, one thing too? That one, thing, the the messiest sandwich, probably uh, right now of uh, all time as far as fast food. And I don't care how well you try to do it. There's always something where it's like that. That uh, that sauce. Usually what happens is the sauce gets on the wrapper somehow. Or the box. Or on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the bread. It's nearly impossible to do. The McRib. And that's probably a twofold here. The McRib. <coughs> When you eat it, probably the most messiest. And when you have to prep it, it's probably the most messiest too. Followed by, um, close second, followed by the Big Mac. Just for this, uh, fa for the fact that there are many layers in that bread. You have the small onions, the small lettuce. You open up the box and... Some of the lettuce is already like sticking out from the box. That's probably uh, the most messiest sandwich to make. That's if you don't have a good sandwich prepper, like I was, but I am retired after all. McDonald's, by the way, I could be brought, uh, I could be brought at a decent price. Uh, we're talking in the hundred grands, so you could definitely 
uh, call me if you want. Gonna change gears just a little bit here. Uh, you know, uh, as I'm looking uh, <coughs> for uh, new employment, just to um, you know, just to further my career, uh, go different places, you know, and changes. Uh, sometimes good. You wanna you wanna challenge yourself, right? And um, that's what it is. You wanna learn new things. Challenge is always good. <coughs> new settings sometimes it, it's good as well. I'm a, I'm a I'm a believer in that. So one of the things um, when I when I look like when I was putting it, at, I just want to throw it out there. I don't know what you guys thought. Uh, when when I put it out there. Uh, as far as like when I'm choosing a format, like and this is like uh, you know I have updated uh, you know Word. Uh, it's like newer ones because I have a newer computer, and some of them, or like even if you like Google resumes, right? When you want to <coughs> put together a resume. And I've been doing this for some time, so, uh, and and I actually, you know, uh, in, in my line of work, what I currently do, I have seen actually uh, some resumes uh, as well. So I kind of uh, I, I know what to expect. I, I think I, I I I like to tell you that I know how to structure a resume. Uh, but a lot of resumes right now have um, still use objective. Uh, still have it objective. Um, and objective, when you do that resume, I, I, it, 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 it's hard uh, to to answer that or, or, or structure that or put it in. Uh, the right wording where it makes uh, the most sense. When when you do an objective, uh, it's either I think a lot of resumes are either too broad, uh, you know, or, 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 or too short that they don't answer. Uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't answer 